Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshops and exercises uh, which you can use to learn about uh, AWS uh, services. Uh, we publish our workshops and exercises at our website, aws-dozo.com. And you can follow the instructions of those workshops and exercises to implement a certain scenario. And in course of that implementation, you'll learn about AWS services. Today, we are going to talk about Amazon Honey Code. And it is a service which is recently launched, I think, a couple of weeks back by AWS. And it is used to build uh, mobile and web applications without writing even a single line of code. So let's learn about it. So in this uh, in this uh, uh, video, I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not created an exercise and tutorial because this service is pretty new, uh, and I'll wait for some time uh, before this service service get little stabilized, and then at that point of time, uh, I do have plan to. Uh, create a, a workshop which will help you learn everything about AWS Honeycode. Uh, but at this point of time, I'm going to show you a quick demo of the tool so that you can learn some of the fundamental features of uh, and the, and the service. So as I discussed earlier, um, uh, it is uh, an application, fully managed application from a service from AWS, uh, which is used to build uh, both mobile and web applications. Uh, and you don't need to write any single line of code for that. Uh, you can start work from any of your spreadsheets. So if you have some CSV file, some data, you can start working from there. Uh, you, uh, you start working from a spreadsheet, but actually you can play with multiple worksheets and you can link them like a database. So you can create relationship between spreadsheets, uh, spreadsheets like master detail kind of thing, and, and you can work with, uh, with them like a database in your application. It comes with an application builder, uh, which provides you uh, of certain ways to uh, uh, a wizard to be able to quickly create your, uh, your application. Uh, and when you build your application, uh, you do realize that you have to many times write automations and workflow uh, to uh, to do some calculations in the back in the back end do some kind of uh, integration notification and those kind of things uh, and and that that's very much possible with uh, uh, amazon honey code uh, the service is already launched it's under preview and i have provided the link over here which you can use to actually go and create a trial version for yourself and 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 then then just play with it, okay? Uh, so yeah, I mean that's pretty much. It's a it's a very new service, and uh, I'm just going to show you a quick demo of this service so that you learn some of the fundamentals about the service. So what we are going to build today in the demo is that I have a sample spreadsheet uh, which I'm going to use as a data source, and then uh, we will use the app uh, wizard. Uh, to create an application inside Honeycode uh, to do fundamental operations like uh, viewing the record, able to create, delete, and update the records, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, do the let's do the exercise. So let's go to the uh, AWS Honeycode. So this is a trial version which I have created uh, for the Honeycode. You can do it yourself. Uh, it's free and it's available for anyone to play with. Uh, so what I do here first, I go and create a work, workbook for me. And in this case, I'm importing a CSV file. So this is my uh, CSV file, which I want to import and start working with. Okay, it's loading my CSV file. It has successfully loaded. You can see it, it, it's showing my CSV file over here. I've taken a pretty simple CSV file to keep it simple, but yeah, you can work with the complex files here. First thing first, let's go and change the name of the table here. So I will call it, uh, say, uh, sales table. Okay, sales table. Um, and once I've changed the name of the table over here, uh, the next thing is I want to work a few things with my formats. So for instance, I want to go to this order date and I want to change uh, the format of it to date only. So say because I'm interested only in date, um, okay. And I say, let's uh, choose the display format like this. Okay. So I changed my date format over here. 
Uh, after that, um, I want to convert this product line into uh, some kind of pick list because I can see it has some fixed value like motorcycles, cars, planes, boats. Um, and so uh, I can select this column over here, go to the wizard, and then I can say, okay, this is, let's convert this into a pick list. And you can see in that option, you can do many other things um, and say, okay, I want to create a new table uh, with the product line name and say, okay, let's go. Okay, and now what it has done, it has created a new table. So if you go to the left hand side, not the builder part, the table part, if you go left hand side, it has created a new table called sales, uh, sales product line table, uh, where it is maintaining the pick list uh, for my this particular column. And then it has linked that to my sales tables. Okay, so this becomes my master table where I have kept my uh, my product line uh, pick list and it is summary of the you know, number of records into the sales table. Uh, so uh, it has picked up my, uh, it has created a pick list for me uh, in this new table. And then this is my master. And now this table has converted into a, a child table, a detail table, which is referring back to that master. So I, I quickly cl uh, clicked on a few buttons to uh, create a, a pick list and, and, and you know, create two spreadsheet. So now uh, the next, next thing is that I want to add one more column. Here, so let's say I want to add here um, a sales column. Okay, so I want to add a sales column here, and this sales column has a value, automated value, a calculated value, and that is based on uh, quantity ordered into price each. So I simply go over here and say, okay, um, I go to the format again, and I want to enter the formula, and and you write formula in the same way you write formula in Excel sheet. So you can see that I'm using the same form, uh, same method. So I go and create, say, okay, this is my quantity ordered. And then into, uh, I want to multiply price each. And I say apply. And now what it did, it added a new column with, uh, with, uh, with uh, this calculation. So you can do a very complex calculation as well, but I just showed you how you are working uh, in a spread, uh, you know, a spreadsheet kind of behavior, and still able to you know work with your data. So now I think I'm done with my data. I have got my, uh, I have got my pick list created. I have got my order date formatted. I have got my sales uh, new column created. Now I'm happy to go and build an application on top of that. Uh, so in order to do so, I go here and say I want to build an app. And I can build everything by my own, uh, but uh, since I'm new to this uh, service, I'm going to use uh, App Wizard. So let's click on the App Wizard. It says, okay, tell me which table you want to work on. Uh, and you can work on more than one table as well, yeah? But let's start with a simple one. I want to work on the sales table, which I just uh, manipulated in the previous uh, part. Uh, now it will take you through three forms. So first form is where you can go uh, and uh, actually see the list of your uh, records and you can also do search of the record. Uh, and this is also uh, a place from where you can navigate to a particular record for the edit purpose. So let's change the name of this thing. And I want to say this is my uh, sales, uh, sales order, sales order list my sales order list. Uh, and I realized that it is not, it has not accounted my new column I have added here. So let's go and add a new column here and say, I want to add my sales column also in this list. Okay, so now I've got my complete list over here. And you can see that as you build it, uh, you can actually, you can see the things are building here and, and you can do some more manipulations here, but let's let, let's do go through some, some of the fundamentals here. So you click on the next button now. So my uh, list form is ready. Now I need to create my detail form where I can uh, edit my uh, edit or view my uh, order details. Uh, so you, I can keep it like sales order details. Um, uh, so yeah, let's keep it like that. Uh, so let's uh, make it uh, sales. And then I can say this is sales and details. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so this looks good to me, sales detail. I don't want to make any further changes to it. And then I say, click on next. And this is 
a form which is uh, used to create a new cells. So here, um, in fact, let's go back and I have one, one step I missed. So when you are looking at uh, your cells detail, actually you can also um, uh, demarcate that which, uh, because when you open this form, you can also use this form for edit purpose. So I want, uh, you can go and say, okay, fine. I want to, uh, for instance, um, modify certain fields. So for instance, even if a, a sales order has been captured, actually you can go ahead and modify uh, quantity order, for instance. So I mark that for edit. Uh, you can modify price uh, each, uh, and then you can also modify uh, order date. Okay, So these uh, these three fields you can modify. Rest you cannot. Uh, rest you cannot modify. So you you do like that, and then you click on uh, the next button. Now comes uh, the form where you can create a new sales order. So I simply uh, uh, change the name of this form, saying this is my new sales order. And I simply apply. Now it is generating, uh, this is creating a new form for me and I can go here and click on this button to see the new app. But I want to make one more small change and then we'll go and see the app. So let's close this uh, app wizard now. And if I close the app wizard, it's asking, hey, uh, are you sure you want to go back? Because after this, you can only modify it from the application builder and say, yes, I. that's why I intend to do. So I can see, you can see here that now I have got two tables here uh, as, we, as we manipulated earlier. Now I have got one application as well, which is called sales table. So let's click on that application. And in this application we click on, you can see that uh, there are the uh, three, uh, three forms we worked on, uh, listing the order, uh, see the view of the order, uh, see the details of the order and also able to edit it. And the third one is creating a new order. And it also created a form for uh, my second table. Um, uh, but yeah, we didn't work on that. It simply auto generated the table for us, just in case we want uh, sorry, that application for us, just in case we want to link it and use it. But that's not my purpose today. So uh, one more thing to see here is that uh, you can click. Uh, this is the mobile view of all three forms. Yeah, so this is how the uh, the, the view of the form look like on mobile. Uh, you can change the format, uh, but that's not I'm going to cover today. Uh, if you click on the web part today, you can see how the form is going to look like on the web part. Okay, uh, so one more thing I want to do before I want to go and see this app, and that is to change uh, the uh, column names. So I can go here and say I want to edit it, and I say this is actually order number. Uh, I want to change this one uh, to say this is uh, quantity. Uh, and this one I want to change, uh, say, uh, unit price. Uh, this one is, uh, oops, sorry, this one is, um, oops, line number. And uh, this one I can change to say just date. Yeah, just date. And this one is uh, say this is actually product. Oops, you can see I can change I can change the location as well. Uh, but I want to simply change it to say product. And finally, my sales is good ahead, good to have sales. Uh, well, I can say, okay, total value, okay. So I change, I change uh, the headers here. Similarly, you can go and change uh, the headers or uh, things uh, on the other forms as well, but I'm, I'm, I'm leaving uh, that for now. So now, I, you know what, I'm done for uh, all the changes I want to do from the introduction point of view. Now I can click on this app view um, uh, button here. And it will um, actually go ahead and show me how the form look like. So start with uh, this is how the form uh, look like uh, from the listing point of view. Um, you can uh, definitely um, yeah search for uh, a form. So for instance, one zero one forty one forty five. You can search like that. Uh, you want to see only uh, cars. 
uh, you can do that as well. So you can really do search, uh, smart search on your uh, your uh, data here. I want to add a new uh, order, so click on the add button, and I can see okay, my order number is okay, let's see, keep it simple, eleven five. Quantity order is uh, ten. Price is five thousand. Uh, order number is say twenty three. Order date is let's pick, let's pick today. And what are the my product lines? You can see here I have converted uh, this product line to list now, so I can go and select okay, these are my cars. And then uh, yeah, I'm done. So now I have added a new uh, new product here, and I can actually go and search for it. So you can see here, I have searched for it. Um, similarly, uh, I can go ahead and uh, click on a record to open it. So for instance, I clicked on this record. Actually, from here also you can go ahead and jump to the other other uh, records. Um, uh, but then what I want to I uh, we made three fields configurable here or oh, sorry uh, editable here. So let's convert this one, say this is actually uh, 100 uh, quantity. And you can see that the moment I make it 100, actually my total sales price change because I have added a formula right at the table level. And I can change my date to say, um, okay, let's change it to fifth. Okay, and I can, yeah, that's it, actually. Uh, so now if I uh, go back to um, sales order, I can see uh, 10134. Uh, you can see that it has got updated. Similarly, uh, if I uh, click on say, uh, yeah, let's click on this one, uh, and then say I want to delete it, uh, you can very well delete it. And if I go and search, you can see that was the listed second, uh, 10121, and that's not there anymore. So that was a very quick demo about how you can work with uh, Amazon Honey Code to create the form. Uh, you can do many, many other things. I mean, if you go to the, for instance, if you go to the tables and uh, if you go to the uh, the wizard over here, you can create dashboards, you can summary tables, you can create your your uh, your notifications. Uh, similarly, there is a section all uh, no uh, all together for setting up the alerts and reminders and automations. So many 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 things you can do here. Uh, I'm I'm just keeping that uh, open for some other day. In fact, I'm planning to create a detailed um, yeah either the videos like this uh, for various functionality or. A create a detailed exercise or workshop which you can uh, use yourself to learn about uh, this uh, new service. Uh, this was just an introduction uh, uh, video to show uh, the fundamentals of working with uh, you know, uh, Amazon Honey Code. Uh, hope you like this video and if you like please click on the uh, on the like button. Uh, please subscribe uh, our channel if you want to learn about uh, AWS services. Uh, we try to publish uh, at least uh, no, two to three videos per week uh, to learn about uh, new AWS services. Um, if you have any suggestion, any recommendation, any request for new content, uh, feel free to provide us in the, uh, in the comment section of the YouTube channel. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, have a nice day and uh, best of luck. Bye-bye.